Hello and welcome to Misty Mountain Reads. My name is Anna and I drink lots of coffee while I talk about books. So normally I do book recommendations, reviews, things like that. Today I'm going to be talking with my husband and I'm going to be going over book words that other book lovers have come up with to define the way that we read, how we read, why we like to read, um, things like that. And these aren't true words with a real dictionary definition but they're really fun and interesting and <laughs> kind of strange and I'm going to see if he can guess the right definition for these words. And just to give you a preview of them, let's see, scriptorium, bookerazzi, biblioosmia are some of the ones that I'll be going over and I'm also going to link the description in the description where I found these words so that you can find them as well as a ton that I didn't use so I hope that you enjoy it and let's see how it goes <laughs> It takes me a long time to finish a book. I used to read a lot more when I was in middle of high school. Like, I would breeze through books in a day. And, like, now I've been reading Mistborn, which is a great book. I'm really enjoying it. But it's, for some reason, like, it's taken me... I started in January. So it's taken me a while to get through it. Yeah. Okay, so you're not familiar with reader slang. I feel like I would know some. Okay. But I'm not fluent. Okay, okay, so we're going to start by going over some terms that are commonly used by readers, and I'm going to ask you what you think they mean. Now, this is just supposed to be a fun, goofy video, like, oh. not for educational purposes whatsoever. So we'll go over, I've got one, two, three, four, five terms that are commonly used in the reader community. And then we'll go on to these terms that I found that are strange just very descriptive words that mm. I didn't know the meaning of, um, that are for book lovers specifically, so we'll get to this. Okay, so first, here, I'm going to put these down. All right. All right, first, what is TBR? TBR. Mm -hmm. That's not tuberculosis. <laughs> um, Don't think about it too hard. Just like first thing that comes to your mind. Well, first thing that came to mind was tuberculosis, but maybe perhaps third, third reader, no third third base reader. Third base reader, <laughs> getting a little Sex handsy. Well, yeah, a little, a little sexy, you know. It's to be read. Oh, to be read. That yeah. would make more sense. So people have a to be read or a TBR list of mm. books that they want to read in the future. That makes sense. So this second one I know you know because it's duology. Yes, that's just, it's like a series of books, but it's just two books. Yes. So like instead of a trilogy, it's just two. All right. DNF. Well, <laughs> do not fart. <laughs> do not fart. That's not the first thing that came to mind. Okay, well, what would that have to do with reading? I have no idea. Okay. Just, I mean, it's rude to fart while you're reading with someone, so. Okay. It means did not finish. I did not finish. So that's what she said. <laughs> Take fifteen. <laughs> okay, slow burn. That's a romance thing, isn't it? Like, uh, like uh, it's a slow burn romance. Like they don't really know each other, but it's like you can tell there's like a tension there. But then by the end of it. It, like, they get together, but it takes the whole book before they even, like, talk. Mm -hmm. Is that it? Yeah, that's, that's mm -hmm. actually... Wow, well, I totally guessed. <laughs> that's pretty accurate. <laughs> All right, and spicy. That's just a sexy book. Yeah. <laughs> so these, I'm going to show you the word. I'm going to try to pronounce it. Some of these I'm just guessing because people made them up. Okay. So first one is biblio... bib... 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah, biblio yeah, bibli 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 It's my guess. That's my guess on Comanche's pronunciation. I assume it's something to do with the Latin. But, you know, bibli Latin. biblioteca. It's when you love the letter B and you want to make a word out of it. Okay. 
Hint is biblio means book. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, yeah, okay. like biblioteca is the library. Okay, it's people who read too much. Ah, isn't Which, that just a bibliophile? I didn't, bibliophile actually I don't think it was in my list. But I think a bibliophile is just somebody who loves to read. This one is someone who reads too much, which does mm. not exist. Anxious. Anxious anticipation. So it's like anticipation, but it's angst. Yeah. So, oh, okay. So based off that word, it's probably like you know something's coming. Like you know something's about to happen in a book, and you you have an anxiety about it because you because you don't like it. You don't want the thing to happen, but you know it's going to happen. You can't do anything about it. I I feel like that definition would work. I would accept that definition. The definition that was given was the feeling experienced when you finish the latest book in a series, it ends on a series cliffhanger, and there isn't an estimated publication date for the next book in the series. Ah, that makes sense. Which is hyper-specific. That is incredibly specific. So I think that yours definition would, based off of the words that they've put together, would work. Yeah. I, I like my definition better. Alright, this one is a Japanese word, and it is actually, like, these other ones are mostly just made up. This is a legitimate word. Sundoku? Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know anything about Japanese etymology. Yeah, I don't either. So, so I have no... No idea. <laughs> it's, it's a type of sushi, except it's it's raw toes. So this is the act of leaving a book unread after buying it, typically piling it up with other such unread books. So it's like having a really large physical TV. I do that a lot. Yeah. I have quite a few. I, I have that. I have a tundoku. Ironically, most of these books behind us are ones that I've not read. I've read... Those two and this little section right here. And then but some of these, haven't you? Two of them. Two. Yeah. Most of well, these are but you, that I haven't read. But you just have so many that you got no, sold. To be what, fair, I didn't once. buy these. These were all gifts. Yeah. So and you're working through them. I am going through them. Okay. Libro cubicularis. Libro lib libro cubicularis. Libro cubicularis. Okay. That's um someone who stays in bed reading. Did you see this? You saw this one. I have been on the internet a long time. This has been, a, that's, that's from my Tumblr days. Oh, okay, so, okay, okay. So you do know some of these. I do do some of these, yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm impressed. So a person who reads in bed. Yeah. Okay. You are that. Biblioosmia? Uh, it's someone who stays up way too late reading and doesn't fall asleep. Mm -mm. Really? Nope. It's the act of smelling books. Especially as a way of getting a fix from the aroma of old tomes. <sighs> okay. Bookarazi. I can't oh, pronounce that. <laughs> Bookarazi. That's it's like paparazzi, but for books. People who take pictures of books without reading them. Well, this is it, the definition is a book lover who excitedly takes photos of the books they read and post uh. them online. But I guess that you could. You could still use it to describe someone who didn't read the book and posted it. It's just someone who takes pictures of books. Yeah, and posts them online. That was specific. specific. Yeah, it's yeah. true. It's true. Yeah. Scriptorium. Hmm. It's where someone who has a lot of scripts and goes through them like a play. So it's a bunch of like playwrights who have just put all of their scripts in one place. So, you know, you like, old scripts from movies and TV shows, they have to be go somewhere. So there's just one big scriptorium from all of the movies, TV shows, plays, any performance ever goes into this one giant scriptorium that holds every script ever written. That sounds like a good, like, setting mm. That's for a, a good D&D &D thing. Yeah, I'm going to use that now. Um, but it's actually a place where people write, so oh, okay. it could be anywhere, like a coffee shop or a library, a bookstore. A scriptorium. Kind of Bibulo bibliolator? A bibliolator? It's a defibrillator, except it's a bunch of books that you just rub together and you just smash someone's face with it. <laughs> and that wakes them up. That would wake, or kill them, depending on the size of the book. True. This is a person who is passionately enthusiastic about books. I feel like that's a pretty broad. Uh, yeah, that's a very broad diff. Some of these are like super specific to very general. All right, book bosomed. Someone who carries books like this because they have so many. 
and they're basically seen constantly carrying books. That's pretty close. It's someone who carries a book with them all the time. Not specifically like this, Oh, yeah, but, but bosoms. Yeah, but like, you know, like a bosom friend. Bosom buddies. Okay, yeah. <laughs> that's a term. That's a, that's a family-friendly term. <laughs> okay. <laughs> bosom buddies. Scroll mate. <laughs> also, bosom buddies. Um, someone you read with. Mm -mm. Really? Mm -mm. This is an author with whom a reader feels a deep connection. Oh, okay, okay. I can, I can see that. Okay. Well, that's all I've got. Do you have any favorites? Hmm. Here. Uh, let me see. I, I do enjoy Scriptorium. That's, that's that was just, my favorite, too. That's a fun one. I really quite I enjoy like that. I like the way that it, it was easy to pronounce. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah, like that, Scriptorium and Tsundoku. Which I think I'm butchering the pronunciation of that, so please correct me. But I believe that's Tsunduko. Tsunduko. Tsunduko was. I looked at the pronunciation, and that's as close as my mouth can get to it. Gotcha. Anticipation. Toast. We should come up with our own word. Someone who reads while their head is laying against a dog. Very so you specific. Read to the dog? Yeah. What's the Latin word for dog? Dog. Canis. Canis. Okay. Biblio canis? Libro canis. Libro canis. Lib yeah, someone who reads With while draped against a dog. Cool. I like it. Well, thank you for watching our video. I hope that you enjoyed our goofiness and the new words. And I will link all of them in the description. Um, well, actually, let me rephrase. I will put all of the links to my references for these words so you can find them and more in the description. Thank you for having me on your show. This yeah. has been a real pleasure. Thank you for coming. It was really nice to meet you. It was, it was nice meeting you. Yeah. I'll go back to the dungeon now where you took me from. <sighs> okay. What are we doing for dinner? Thank mm -hmm. you.